and then the first year was rough. Um, we <laughs> a lot of it was, it was real rough. It was it was frustrating. Um, I, I wasn't quite. I was quite sure about what I wanted to teach and how long I wanted to teach, but her learning style was not was not in, influenced to me. Um, by then, you know, she'd already been to school for a couple years, so whatever learning style she picked up, the teachers knew it, but I did not. So mm. coming into it was really, really rough. And the first two months I was bashing my head against the wall. Like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to get her to learn? It was very, 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 very um, tense and it made learning not great. And mm. then I read a couple books. <laughs> One, nice. uh, A Survivor's Guide to Homeschooling by Luann Shackelford. I was actually encouraged by a lot of homeschoolers in the area when I told them that this is what I was doing. They're like, okay, here's some resources. Don't give up. You just need to like really focus in on things that work for her. Um, and then explore those things, expound on those things. Don't get stuck rigidly by what you thought is a system, even you yourself growing up, because obviously I was in the public school system. So I was used to da 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 But you don't have to do da 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 So <laughs> you can do it any way you please as long as they retain the knowledge. Um, yeah. So this book and the way they learn was a great resource. Where they learn by Cynthia O. Tobias. Um, that breaks down a lot of ways to, to teach. 